Hey everybody, it's Troy with eBuzz Central. Today we're taking a look at Debian 11, Bullseye KDE. But before we get started, please don't forget, like and subscribe to my channel. Doesn't cost anything, and if you end up not liking me, you can always unsubscribe. Debian 11, we're taking a look at it today. It is in the KDE desktop environment. Now I do want to point this out. I'm running it in a virtual machine. You can run it on a virtual machine, or you can download it and put it on a USB stick. But if you're not installing it and you just want to take it for a test drive, make sure you download the Debian 11 live version of the ISO. Because if you just download the regular ISO and put it on a USB, it'll only give you the option to install. So we're going to take a look real quick. We're running on KDE Plasma 5.20.5. KDE Framework of 5.78.0. Kernel version is 5.10.0-8, which you know that's an older kernel version, but it's on Debian, so it's the stable. OS Type 64-bit, 2.9 gigabytes of RAM I've issued it, and AMD, I've only issued it two processors. So let's close out of this. This is the desktop you're met with when you first log in on either VirtualBox or USB. We'll go down to the bottom here. You've got your Show Your Desktop icon. You've got Date and Time. You've got your Hidden Icons, which has the K Organizer, Notification notifications, updates, clipboard, keyboard indicator, KDE Connect, and of course the night color control. If you don't know what that is, you turn that on. It's set up for a certain time. It'll actually dim your screen a little bit and change the U so it's easier on your eyes. You've got your internet connection. Most recent drive is the DLive, Debian Live, USB that it's showing, battery, sound, and then iBus panel is in English, of course. So we'll close out of that. Come down here, you've got system settings, Discover Software Center, Dolphin File Manager, and then it's got Conquer. Conquer is a KDE web browser that you can use. It's less feature packed than other browsers. You can always go over and it's got Firefox already installed. You can change that out if you'd like to. I'm going to go ahead and make the panel a little bigger on KDE to make the panel bigger. All you do is right click edit panel. These options will come up and just click over here and it will make it bigger. I'm going to do it at 54. Let's close out of that. And first thing we want to take a look at is the file manager. So Dolphin is open. As you can see right here, it's your regular Dolphin file manager. Now, what I do like to point out to folks is you do have a lot of things over here listed. If you're somebody that likes all of that, that's great. More power to you. But if you're like me and don't need things like recent or search for, all you got to do is right click on recent, hide it, right click and hide it. And now you've got more room up here. I also like to make this a little bigger. So all you got to do is come in this area where it's cleared out, right click, icon size. I'm going to go large and that makes it a little bigger so you can see those a little bigger. Now up here, if you want to change the size of these folders, all you got to do is grab this little slider right here, move it up just a little bit and it makes your folder is bigger. So there you go. And also on top of that, if you're somebody like me that likes to change the order of these, like I don't need desktop right under home, I will grab it, just left click it, hold it, drag it to the bottom and it'll put it down there. I got downloads. I want that up below home and then pictures below downloads and then videos below pictures, actually above pictures. And there you go. That's in an order that I work with. Now your order may be different. You have the ability to change that if you want to, but that is your dolphin file manager. Let's close out of that. Back down here, we're going to check out the discover software center and it has has opened and as you can see it starts giving you applications right off the bat like Krita, Digicam, Caden Live which is one that I would want to install, KTorrent, Gcompress. Now if there's an application that you're trying to find just go over here into the search like let's try OBS. There's OBS. It didn't show it correctly at the top but I want to try some OBS Studio. So if I type in OBS Studio and hit enter, it brings it right to the top. In the search, if you wanted to show it's top, you've got to use the exact name of the application you're looking for. If not, you put it in, you may have to scroll a little bit, but you can find it. And then you can come down here and it'll show installed. It'll show you everything that's already installed. Come to settings. It'll show you that right now, Bullseye Main is where you're getting your software sources from. And then about, it'll tell you that it's Discover 5.20.5 Application Explorer. And then down here, it tells you that everything is up to date. So let's go ahead and close out of that. Now let's go to system settings. And just like your typical KDE, you can change the global theme. Right now we're running Breeze. I'm going to go ahead and switch it to Breeze Dark and apply and it makes everything dark. Now, if you don't like either one of these themes, just come down here, get new global themes. You can go find a theme that's more suited for what you want it to look like. Plasma style, you can change that up here. That's just the way things happen around your Windows. Application style, you can change everything from the size of your sliders. You can make them bigger, you can make them less colorful, and you can have an old Windows look if you want. Colors, fonts, now you can go in here on 
fonts in this I like to do because of my site. I like to go ahead and go to size. It's set on 10. I want to go ahead and bump that up to 14. Click OK and apply. Now I've got a bigger font where I can see and it's much easier for me to do things that I need to get done. Icons, cursors, workspace behavior, window management, shortcuts, startup and shutdown. All of this right here is customizable to the way that you want to use it. So you can go into every one of these and change it to your specifications. Like startup and shutdown, you can come in here. If you download an application and you find out after you restart your computer, it's auto starting, it'll be listed here and you can just go over and hit the negative and it takes it off of the auto start. The application will stay, but it'll no longer start when you start your machine up. So let's close out of that. Let's right click. Let's go ahead and change the wallpaper. Right out of the box, you get this beautiful wallpaper. I'm going to go with a more classic Debian looking wallpaper. So I'm going to go with this and apply and then close out. And now you've got the nice Debian wallpaper. It does say Debian 10, but we're looking at Debian 11. So let's go over to the application menu, click on it. And right off the bat, it'll have your favorites. It's got Conqueror, System Settings, Dolphin, Kate, which is a text editor and discover software center. And then you can go to applications. You've got education and it's got miscellaneous. So let's go back graphics. It comes with GIMP pre-installed. It comes with GwynView, image magic, contrast, LibreOffice Straw, and ocular. And on internet, you have aggregator, which is your RSS feed. If you've got an RSS feed, you want to keep track of, you just open aggregator and put it in. You've got Firefox ESR. So let's click on that. And Firefox opens up. First thing I want to do is go over here, go to customize and I want to go down and shut the title bar off. That way I'll let title bar and I get a little bit more real estate there. And I want to go ahead and change it to a dark theme. Let's close and restart Firefox. And now we have a dark theme in Firefox. And we are now at the Debian website. We've got the community over here, the operating system. You can download project news, talks about the Debian conference, online Debian education, Debian bullseye released. And you can go over and you can read everything. It says after two years, one month, and nine days of development, the Debian project is proud to present a new stable version of 11 code name bullseye so you can get all that information over at debian.org you can look up news you can look up if you want to donate and help the developers out you can go there and do that back to internet we've got kde connect kde connect sms you've got kmail as your mail client conqueror we already talked about that web browser we can go back to all applications multimedia you get dragon player which is a video player juke which is a music player and k3b disc burning now over to office and scrolling down you have libre office suite installed out of the box so you don't have to go Go get that and you've got ocular and sieve editor system you've got apper for software management you've got the discover software center let's look at apper and over here this is another place that you can get software or apps that you want to run you just come down here and you look games graphics internet network multimedia let's open multimedia and it gives you a list of different multimedia apps let's say you were looking for vlc there's vlc right there all you got to do is come over here click install it installs it now the beauty of this are all of these are stable versions of the software which means they're going to be a couple generations older than what you're used to running them maybe on other distributions. But that's what Debian gives you is the stability. Let's open up Casis Guard. Now, Casis Guard is your system monitor. Let's see what kind of load we're running at present. Right now, we're sitting at about one gigabyte at rest, which is close to what you would expect for a KDE environment. I've got four CPUs issued to this machine. And right now we're running less than 10% at rest. So that's pretty normal. That's pretty steady. So let's close out of that. Based on what I'm looking at, I'm a KDE fan. So I love the desktop environment. Debian 11, if you're looking for something that's stable, you're looking for something that's rock solid, and you're looking for something that you can pretty much just plug in and go and do your work and not have to worry about anything, Debian 11 Bullseye is your pick. There's no such thing as a bulletproof operating system, whether it's Mac, Windows, or Linux. But on Linux, Debian 11 is going to be the closest thing we have to Bulletproof to offer. Please do me a favor before you go. Like and subscribe to my channel. Doesn't cost anything. And if you end up not liking me, you can always unsubscribe. Thank you for watching the video and I'll see you in the next video.